I want to show you this. It's a binder that I made, just an inch binder. So after I kind of like tried to work things with Darren, um, my ex boss that had a familiar spirit and his spirit really scared me. I basically told him I never wanted to work in person with him again. And I went home and I printed out a bunch of that prophet that I started following on Instagram, a bunch of his sayings and his posts. And I put them with pictures that I liked. And I basically made a vision binder of the future relationship and future marriage that I wanted because I didn't have a way to see that with all of the spirit of lust covering my my vision. So I had to break free from that and this I just wanted to show it to you because of the pictures that I took the other day. So you open it up and I put equally yoked. Um I literally had to talk myself through what I deserved this way. And look at this. And by the way, Jonathan is everything on here. I love that engagement on the rock. I think that's so pretty. It's worth the wait. This, you might have to pause to read. These are all Aaron White LA's posts and they helped heal me so much. This one. I love that. Or if Jonathan was playing the piano. That. That's Rob. Or John. You're John. help you This verse, it's already yours. It's already yours. To be rib to rib. Yes. Wow. I love that photo. Still learning. Oh, my favorite verse. Look, it's me. 11 11. Pretty good. Sacrifices. I remember I 
I posted this and I remember Darren was really frustrated about it. And it was really funny because he just had such a familiar spirit and I had no idea that was a thing. But he had the spirit of lust operating in and through him to hurt me. Okay, this I want to show you. This is a beautiful photo. But this... And then I'm going to send you the pictures that I took yesterday inside that greenhouse because, oh my goodness. Oh, my nails are terrible. Oh, I love it. I love this. Coffee. I love it. She's literally topless. This is the kind of intimacy I want. Reading together. My prayers changed, my attitude changed. Driving together. Oh, this one. He wrote that. Your past shouldn't be a wound to be poked at to get a reaction. If that's what took place before, then I speak life with you. That'll not be the case with the next person you meet. They'll yearn to understand what you went through and will celebrate what you've overcome. They'll walk with you in what you are currently facing and will offer insight on ways to avoid guilt. What you encountered in the past makes up the woman or man you are today, but doesn't dictate who you will become. Your future starts with your now. Therefore, right now we speak life together that who you encounter next will desire to build with you and not against you. You are dope. And the crazy part about it is God isn't finished with you yet. this one soon you will know him I have the perfect time you are my princess my daughter let no prince claim you unless he has asked you from my hand for I'm your father king of kings you my princess are worthy are worth loving and deserve a prince you were never broken boy those jerks in my past made me feel like I was the problem. I was not. I love that. Swimming in the rain. Ooh, pretty. Confirmation to something you've already recently heard and felt intimately. You're in alignment where God wants you. And crazy thing is, you don't know it. Your desire to bury yourself in truth is what is about to set you free. It's okay to declare this shift. It's okay to know it can happen to you suddenly. Claim it. You already dreamt of it and told a trustworthy few of your heart's desires. Stay prepared. A shift is coming. When he's ready, you won't have to persuade him. All his action will fall in line with keeping you because to lose you is not an option. I love that photo. That'd be really cool if one day there was just like a hammock at my wedding. I would die. I'd be like, wow, how'd that happen? And to go to Egypt with him would be amazing. That's it.